Crypto AI projects are like 1, 2, 3 billion market cap. Open AI is valued at 80 billion and Nvidia is 2.7 trillion. But does the centralized AI have a chance? I think so and I'll tell you why within 4 minutes. Three of the main AI crypto projects, Fetch AI, Singularity Net and Ocean Protocol are merging in two weeks, which based on combined market cap 1.8, 1.1, 500 million should put it at around 3.5 billion dollars, which would make it a top 30 crypto project all categories. I made this Lars Online Pro portfolio with AI coins almost half a year ago. Almost all of them went in uptrend, but then they topped out and now most of them are in downtrend, as you can see here at a glance. Notable exception is Render Project that we talked a lot about here on the channel. But now I think it's time to pay attention again. And there's a bigger reason here than just making money. Centralized AI companies bring with them our future societies, perhaps biggest problem, which most people haven't even realized is a problem yet. Elon Musk has realized it, but not many others. No one missed woke gate with Google Gemini. That was mostly just funny, but I'm sure you've seen of how upset Elon Musk is with open AI, which he created the name for. And now it's kind of closed AI. And I agree with the word. It needs to learn at a geometric rate. It becomes self-aware at 2.14 am eastern time. Terminator is the Hollywood version. That's not how it will happen. But what could actually happen is almost scarier. I use ChatGPT every day. And no joke. I pay 20 bucks a month and it's probably replacing 5 people that I would otherwise have had to hire. Everything you type into ChatGPT can be stored. I'm sure Sam Altman means well, but what if the data is hacked or exploited by his successor? Or perhaps more likely, what is the number one priority of the current ruling administration of any country? It's not freedom and happiness for its people. It's not economic growth. It's not world peace and safety. What is it? It's winning the next election. I've lived in a lot of countries and I've seen how far most governments are willing to go to achieve that goal. And can you imagine? Some countries even put opposing candidates in jail. Of course I'm talking about countries like Burma and South Africa at the time. You think there won't be attempts to introduce some regulation here? for the stability and safety and integrity of the next election. It will be much less human suffering if people just voted for the right party from the beginning, right? And private companies have to follow regulation or the CEO goes to jail too. Imagine a future where we rely on AI for everything, which in my life is basically already today. Then what if that AI actually has an agenda? one that is much worse than woke Gemini and much more subtle. Then you can automate manipulating me by an AI who knows everything about me on a very deep personal and professional level. Me and everyone else in the world. That's a fairly scary society and that's why Elon is worried. Machines suppressed our physical strength long ago and now they're taking over intellectual tasks. What could be the solution? I think it's obvious. It's open. Open source, open public, decentralized systems and control. And what is the technical solution to that my friends? Well, that's what blockchain and crypto is. Here is where this industry can really shine, really solve the next world problem in era digitalis, on top of global money on the internet and digital ownership. But will that happen? And in that case, what is the altcoin that will make it happen? I've talked about Render on this channel before and that is up 1600% or 17x from this gold flip and bullish pattern confirmation. And a little bit more if you sidestepped part of this decline. But this is bigger. Could 2024 be the watershed moment for decentralized technology beyond money and speculation? Let's find out. CTO big altcoin videos are back. Some background information first. 
it's been more than a year since ChatGPT 4 was released. The other week, OpenAI released their new flagship model, GPT 4O, where O stands for orgasm, sorry, Omni. This model is much faster and can handle audio and video better. That was not really singing. Surprise guests with a playful streak. Funny ears and laughter, a swift retreat. Sadly, the cheesy filter wasn't on. OpenAI released this just the day before Google had their biggest annual event, where they announced a very similar project to the GPT 4O model called Project Astra. Also, pretty cool stuff. Or it now, there are rumors about ChatGPT 5 being released in a few months. In all this, the principles are the same as in my AI textbook from university from 1995, 29 years ago. It has just kept getting better since then, exponentially. But despite getting twice as good every one or two years, it was still useless except for simple things. Then that straight line on the log chart got across a level where it suddenly became dramatically useful for almost everything. And now it will keep growing keep getting twice as good every couple of years. When it gets better than any one individual human at the task, it's not far to get better than all humans combined. I am almost certain that the AI narrative will continue to be strong during this market. But can crypto actually challenge the centralized AI development? With three of the top crypto AI projects merging with some actual synergy, it's at least one of this industry's best bets at the moment. Fetch AI, Singularity Token and Ocean Protocol. It was in March this year that they announced they were merging. Together they will unite to form what they call Artificial Super Intelligence Alliance and have one universal token, ASI, which stands for obviously artificial superintelligence. A merger of this caliber of three crypto projects of this size fetch AI's market cap position 59, Singularity Net is 75 and Ocean Protocol 139. That has never been done before in crypto. Since the announcement there was almost no communication what was going to happen, causing many including myself to question if it was even going to happen. But now, yesterday, there is actually a timeline confirmed. June 11, FET will be renamed ASI and the FET token migration will open and June 13 AGIX and Ocean ERC20 token migration opens. FET is the biggest token by market cap, that's Fetch AI, with a total supply of 2.6 billion tokens, so one to one conversion rate. AGIX, which is Singularity Net, the second biggest project by market cap, will migrate at this conversion rate and the Ocean token for Ocean Protocol will have almost the same conversion rate. The fully diluted market cap of ASI will be 6 billion as of this date. So right now we have narrow AI in many sectors, an AI that is async to perform a specific task. The next step is AGI or artificial general intelligence, intelligence that can solve any problem just like you and me. Then the next step and if we get here, we will get here. We will get artificial super intelligence that is smarter than humans. And that's what I'm waiting for. Today, only my wife can solve things like this. Regular humans can't. Jokes aside, I do think it will take some time to get there. But I am almost certain that we will get there. And we will experience it sooner rather than later. Because of this, what I explained before, log chart growth, exponential growth is wild. Let's look in more detail at these projects. Fetch AI provides infrastructure that allows developers to build and deploy decentralized applications. Developers can use Fetch AI's tools to train and create specialized AI agents that perform various tasks, like holiday booking service that just knows what you want, or an anxiety-free journey planner. I think they're still talking about my wife. Ocean Protocol, the smallest of the three, with a market cap of only $500 million. And that's why they can't assign a cookies pop-up that you can actually press. They provide a data exchange. A data provider can tokenize their data set. And if you purchase this token, you get access to the data. The data itself does not need to be on-chain, just the access control. Last year they launched Predictor, for example, which is a platform where users can run a prediction model to forecast cryptocurrency prices, for example. 
while it wasn't quite as easy as they expected. Lastly, we have Singularity Net, which features an AI marketplace where users can develop and share AI algorithms and models. Out of the three projects, this is the one most leaned towards AGI and has an extensive research department. The CEO is Dr. Ben Goetzel, who is actually the person who popularized the term artificial general intelligence in the early 2000s. So these three companies actually do bring their unique strengths to the table. Ocean Protocol brings the data, SingularityNet brings the platform and research, and Fetch AI provides the AI agent technology for execution and user engagement. And by merging these tokens into one, it will indeed be easier for developers to access all the required components for building AI solutions. But is it enough? What are they actually doing, not only talking here? Are they even buying any AI equipment? Among the ASI projects, Fetch AI is the one most focused on computational resources. They recently introduced Fetch Compute, investing $100 million in Nvidia GPUs and other infrastructure for AI. That's a solid move, $100 million, real money, buy stuff. But it makes me wonder. Is it enough to compete with the giants? I hope you are following stocks as well. If you want to understand any kind of technology, I think you should. Nvidia shot past $1,000 per share after their earnings report, largely thanks to the revenue from their data centers. Full year data center revenue rose 217% to a record of 47.5 billion dollars. Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta and Apple are expected to shell out a combined 200 billion dollars in capex this year with a huge portion of the spending going to AI specific infrastructure like the Nvidia chips. So 200 billion fetch spend 100 million that is zero 0.05% of that number. Of course, those are forecasts. Also, if you look at actual spend, each of these companies spend more actual money on AI each quarter than the total market cap of the ASI alliance. And remember, market cap is not the amount of money put in. It's just the last trading price times circulating supply. And I mean, Zook is going to buy 350,000 GPUs, which cost $9 billion. Good news here is that while a lot of people hate on Zuckerberg, I think he is actually taking open source a lot more seriously, which they also did with the Llama family large language models. So that smaller companies only need to fine tune pre-trained language models instead of starting from scratch. Who is paying for your free chat GPT query? Let's see. And the first answer is actually correct. No one really cares about my $20 per month payment. That's not the real business model. Open AI at this price wouldn't be possible without the VCs who hope that the value of the company will go up, which it does, and fast, and that's how they will make the real money. That's not a bad business model, and it's one that crypto certainly has mastered. So perhaps it is possible. Speculation has been a huge technology enabler over these decades since this book was written. Laying it all out first. Two additional challenges that the alliance faces are. Number one, governance. Managing a decentralized governance structure across these organizations might slow down decision making, to put it mildly. It's faster in a company. One person decides, then he may or may not get fired. Still, while in charge, he decides. And number two is regulation. Regulations for a decentralized AI platform. I mean, it took Bitcoin, what, 15 years to get a basic ETF approval. Who knows? what will come up. Perhaps a centralized organization will be the only legal way, because that's what the government wants, for good or for bad reasons, as discussed in the beginning. Probably both in different countries. But I think that all the governments in the world will finally agree on something. They will agree that they should be in charge. Not some f 
programmers. The ASI Alliance vision paper emphasizes that the merger isn't just about combining tokens, but forging a stronger and more resilient protocol. And of course it better be the ambition to challenge the big tech domination. And I mean the paper actually outlines a blueprint for achieving AGI. And I like that they highlighted the importance of privacy and security. Of course it's early days, but they do like the ambition. I'm pro-innovation, as you know. And I fundamentally think that decentralized systems is a great way to solve these types of problems with AI. If you compare the FED token, the AGIX token and the Ocean token, you see that the chart looked almost identical here recently. That's because they are actually identical, this last stretch, which you will see if we overlay them on top of each other. That's because of this fixed exchange rate announcement. Fetch is a pretty old project that has had many of these huge bull market, huge bear market, bull market, bear market, bull market, bear market, and AGIX2. It has trended super well actually, and Ocean Protocol 2. If you now switch to the BTC chart, you know that I really like charting altcoins versus BTC. We do see something pretty interesting here. Price has been in this pretty well defined range for the past month or so. Right now, price is is near the support. So if this holds again here and bounces, right now this could be pretty optimal if you were not part of these projects from down here. Of course, if this range breaks, better watch out. Don't hodl in downtrend, folks. And if you can't find your socks, that will remind you, you know who to ask. There is a placeholder on coin market cap. What this merger does is that it brings an element of collaboration to the crypto industry that I have missed for the longest time. The company world is full of mergers, why don't we see that here? So will this merger be a new model for success and collaboration in this industry? Will artificial super intelligence alliance become a groundbreaking success? Or will it become an artificial alliance to pump their own bags. Most tech eventually fails. Most crypto projects eventually fail. But even for those, there could be a huge period of run up and a long period of run down. The good news here is that we don't need to predict. These type of projects have trended extremely well. Both the uptrends and the downtrends, both on the BTC charts and the USD charts. I have no reason to believe that that will change. On the contrary, our job is only to identify the possibility for a big move in price in either direction. And here we definitely got it. Both the upside from a couple of billion market cap project with a narrative that they will go and challenge big tech in AI. There is an upside. And it's huge. And the downside, if these guys come out the door with a $4 billion market cap and then fail, this could be an epic short. Like EOS, if anyone is old enough to remember that. Or ADA, which we literally called on the day up here. I believe this alliance and the ASI token could be steps in the right direction. And I think it will be a major topic throughout this year. This topic isn't going anywhere. And it could turn into a great compliment to Nvidia and to Render, which we've covered here so many times with great success. I'm gonna pay attention to this one from June 13 onwards, and I think you should too. I will also test their actual solutions. I trend trade tech. Lotion Line is my friend here. We can make money either way. And we will learn more about the AI business by following this. I am sure of it. Just for the love of all AI, don't hodl altcoins in a downtrend, folks. No matter how promising the tech is. Also, please don't get scammed. I have only one website. It's ctolarsen.com. Everything else is a scam, even if your favorite AI tells you otherwise. Thank you, Tak. CTO Larsen out. Or was I an AI all along? I'm not sure.